Uh, boleh kita mulai ya. Baik, uh, selamat petang pada semua uh, para media. Terima kasih hadir. Uh, bersama saya dalam sidang media ini adalah Ketua Pembangkang, uh, Datuk Sri Wan Aziza, uh, Permatang Pau. Dan uh, today we are issuing this press statement to reply to the uh, statement by the Ministry of Health issued about a week ago, uh, which is reported in Bernama on the 6th of November. What we are saying today is that that statement by the Ministry of Health has got some serious uh, misrepresentations and uh, false statements. We cannot name the official, unfortunately, because the statement was issued with no name. So that is my first comment. We will ask the Ministry in future to please make sure that a statement is issued with the name of an official so that we can hold that person responsible for the content of the statement. Now, uh, the ministry statement started by saying that Datu Sri Anwar's shoulder injury was sustained prior to his detention. That has never been an issue because that is an accepted fact. We have never said otherwise. Yeah? Now, what we are saying is that, and what they know is that Datu Sri Anwar managed the injury with what we call conservative treatment in physiotherapy, analgesics and supplements. Now, the next part of the ministry statement is this, where they say, and this is a false statement, a false impression, where they say a panel of doctors was had recommended exercises which would be taught by a physiotherapist and that would be performed daily in prison by a patient, followed by a regular review and that was a standard therapy. Then the statement went on to suggest that the doctors had never recommended intensive physiotherapy. Now, as far as we are concerned, they are saying today these are shocking, irresponsible and false statements. They are... Now, we, they are now saying this in the, as an afterthought because the family of Dr. Sri Anwar have been repeatedly asking for Dr. Sri uh, Anwar to be treated with physiotherapy. And we have been making this consistent demand for the last few months. Suddenly, the ministry turns out and says, oh, the doctors never recommended physio. And we say now, that's a lie. Now, why do we say that? Because the written reports by the panel of doctors who first saw Anwar in February and completely contradicts them. And secondly, we are saying, the treatment that you gave to Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim when you hospitalized him in June and July was daily intensive physiotherapy. So, when you have given him the treatment, following the recommendation of the panel of doctors who saw him in February, you can't turn around now and suddenly change the, the, the story. <coughs> now, let me give you the details. Yeah? The report dated 10th July by Dr. Arshad Bin Puji, who is a sports physician. He's a specialist orthopedic uh, doctor. He confirms as follows that prior to detention, Dr. Uh, Sri Anwar opted for conservative treatment, etc, etc. But this is the next main important sentence. He confirms that while being hospitalized, this is in June and July, Dr. Sri Anwar underwent serial physiotherapy sessions consisting of physical modalities, electrical modalities, functional modalities and taping applications. And in simple language, <coughs> what this means is Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim underwent daily intensive physiotherapy sessions in hospital from which he experienced a favorable outcome. He was very much relieved of his pain and discomfort. Datuk Dr. Fazir bin Muhammad, he is a senior consultant orthopedic surgeon, HKL also. He gave a report dated 13th of July and, and this was written after Dr. Sri Anwar's second hospitalization in July. Now this is what he says. He says, we examined Anwar in prison on the 24th of February. He said, after diagnosing his injury as chronic rotator cuff injury, prescribed treatments were and a physiotherapy to gain back motion, analgesics and ointment and plasters. And what we want to say as well, this physiotherapy, as far as the time that Anwar is in prison, has been denied him. It was only given to him, unfortunately, when he was actually hospitalised uh, in HKL in June and July. Okay, may I reiterate the fact that Anwar Ibrahim is a political prisoner? And he and the United Nations have come out with a statement, and uh, the um, group of four arbit I mean, he's arbitrarily detained, and he should be released. 
So this actually becomes uh, pressing for us and the government to then allow him to have the treatment. And the only goodwill that we can see immediately is for him to be have uh, uh, intensive physiotherapy, which is very simple. And it's not that it's not uh, can cannot be done because the last time he was admitted, I mean he was uh, imprisoned, he had it done. He was taken to a hospital. So now I would like to ask and. Uh, the ministry, the government, has been promised by the Deputy Prime Minister, no less, to then keep their promise to us. Thank you.